Hi, I'm Jared Betts, and I'm Emily Phillips. This is our painting, Norwegian Doctor. So I guess I'll talk a bit about my process. Uh, we started this collaboration last year, and I went first. And I started with the drips, and uh, it took probably four or five months because uh, I was like really taking a lot of consideration. And at the beginning of the, the piece, we were looking at some different influences. Um, Jack Bishop and Julie Himmel, Shane Norris, they're all really bold painters. And so I love the different colors and different things. So we were looking at those. And then at a certain point, we just kind of were like, okay, we got this. And then I started going for it. And then um, I started building up the different layers of drips. And then I handed it over to so yeah, Jared brought his painting to me in October of last year. It was right before we shut down for one of our lockdowns, so I was happy to have a project to work on during that time. Um, and as first, I'm always inspired by Jared's work, and I know that he's heavily influenced by a lot of the same things that I know. <clears throat> mainly nature, the forest, going in New Brunswick and exploring, going for hikes. So underlying both of our works, we have that in common. Um, so when I'm looking at his paintings, I'm trying to see those influences coming through. Um, and there were things that jumped out to me about his pores right away that communicated tree bark. Um, they seemed like little saplings and branches. But one of the challenges that I was facing was trying to figure out how to make a representational composition out of an abstract piece. Um, so after looking at the painting for a couple of days, I sent Jared a message and said, do you mind if I flip the whole thing upside down? <laughs> and Jared is an extremely trusting and a wonderful collaborator to work with. And he was like, do whatever you need to do. So we flipped it upside down, which was great because it unlocked some of these pores, which are then creating tree forms. So you can see tree trunks, branches coming up. Um, this in and of itself is the top of a pore that he did, um, which looked immediately to me like the base of a tree trunk. Um, this is also based on the structure of a pore and marks that he made that to me very much had the shape of um, you know, a decomposing tree trunk that was coming up from the forest floor. So I started looking at his uh, work for cues about how we could build in composition. It was very scary to have to draw these huge tree trunks over a Jared Betts painting. I spent many months feeling like I was ruining a Jared Betts painting. <laughs> and was holding my breath whenever I was painting it. Um, but Jared and I were communicating virtually throughout this whole process. So I would do some work to it and I would send him pictures and he was always super encouraging, would give me tips or ideas or things, like reference images that he had found. We were exchanging a lot of reference images throughout this whole process of things that we find on Instagram. Um, Things related to color, things related to forest forms and trees, different ways that different painters are trying to communicate, different light effects. So all of those things were kind of percolating in my head at the same time. So I eventually did kind of come up with a composition for these trees. However, I got stumped. At the conclusion, I stumped. <laughs> no pun intended, I was stumped. And uh, I didn't really know what to do from there. Like, I knew that we had something going and it was, it was starting to be strong, but it didn't feel like it was alive yet. So I remember I was like worried about it, didn't really know where to go next. And then I sent Jared some texts with a bunch of pictures of what I was doing. So maybe you can speak from there what you. The feedback you gave me that helped Absolutely. push it to the next level. Yeah, this was a major turning point. Yes. And, uh, I think everything this year is going next level, and I'm taking the plankton and channeling more lion than unicorn, or both. And uh, so it was at a point where it could have been finished for sure. And she was very thoughtful with her different mark making, 
but then I felt it could have gone even wilder, so all this part, this, is it a Norwegian fir or what kind of tree? Yeah, it's a Norway spruce. Norway spruce? Yeah, that was my inspiration for the type of tree that had these really elegant hanging branches. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I was just like, bring in more of the different parts that she had going on. There was segments coming through, and I was just like, just unleash, you're not gonna ruin anything. Like, you've been very thoughtful. She even painted in between the drips and everything, so it was like very, very cool and thoughtful with that. So, so I just get a bit wild and bring in these drippy spruce on it, and then it just kind of exploded with a new persona, um, kind of like this iridescent hat that this man was walking with today on the side of the highway. It was like balloons and things. It was really wild. So that was really inspiring too. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so Jared sent me, he took the images I sent him and drew over them uh, with your phone with these big sweeping branches that were super bold, cutting across like over half the painting. And I was like, really? Like, you're sure? And he's like, don't worry about it. Like, go for it. I want these big, like, owl branches <laughs> coming through. And I was like, okay. So then I just, for the next, like, week or two, I was looking at trees all the time, anytime I was in the car. And there was actually this really amazing tree in the uh, yard of my daughter's daycare. And so I kind of studied it every time we would go there. And then I found a bunch of reference images. So based on that, I, I got a feel for how to put some of these branches together. And I tried to do, uh, make choices that integrated Jared's work. So they're very subtle, but you'll be able to see that there are pores and drips and splatters that have been incorporated that are sort of thickening up the branches. So you can see this is a pore here that's been pulled into this branch and these also are Jared's marks that are pulled up into these branches. There's um, pores through this green that I highlighted but that was all Jared's initial marks too and those greens really sort of first inspired me to add some branches in that area. So um, I really enjoy responding to the marks that are already on the canvas and trying to preserve and also create a cohesive feeling between Jared's initial work and what I was adding to it. 